Hi guys and welcome to my July favourites. As usual I have 10 so let's begin. First favourites had to be the Soap and Glory items I mentioned in a previous haul video. They smell incredible. Again I want to thank Este, Essie Button for recommending like everyone to try Soap and Glory because they smell amazing. First I used the scrub and it just smells so like rich and intense and comforting. For my mum this was too sweet but for me I loved it. Oh it's shea butter, it is shea butter, it's... I always say stuff wrong, I don't know. Um, sugar body smoother, has honey, bananas, almond extracts and lots of other things. It's just so nice to just scrub all over your body, rinse off and then I follow it up with the Clean On Me which is a creamy clarifying shower gel. I really want to get a moisturiser as well so I think I'm going to go back and get some more things. My second favourite is lots of jewellery. I've been obsessed with three brands in particular. The first is Kassan and I'm in love with this ring. I've worn it in quite a few videos now. I'm actually borrowing this at the moment but I'm going to be soon buying it. Another birthday treat to myself and this is something I've treated to myself um, recently which will be in a upcoming like haul video. This will probably be my, if I do a what I got for my birthday video, I'm not sure. Or if not, it'll be my August haul anyway. Yeah, I love this ring so much. It's from the God Loves Fangs series. He does other ones as well, but that's definitely like my favourite collection. And also, I just love this necklace. I did buy this for myself recently. What it is, it, this is a vampire heart and it has a sword. I'm not sure, I don't think this is in at the moment, but I like wearing it with like the sword dangling. And then you can put the sword through the heart as well, which I thought was cool. Um, and so my friend Jacqueline was like, it looks like a durian. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> I think, what's her name? Ellie Golding has this and she bought it for her guitarist. Apparently he wears it on his little finger. Like, I am so small. I wear this either as a thumb ring or like on this finger and these are just one size though so you can't get it in different ring sizes but if it fits on my thumb it's probably going to fit on one of your fingers. Other jewellery brand I've been loving at the moment is Rogan Wolf so this little cat skull ring is sterling silver and also I had the sleepwalk ring um I've got it here in steel um because and look at Benz which is really cool uh, but the silver version, which I've been wearing so much, I unfortunately had an accident with. Um, I've not had any problems with this one. And the last jewellery brand, which I've been loving again, I featured them in my last favourites as well, is Bloody Mary Metal. And this is from their new collection. This is the Ace of Swords necklace. And again, if you follow me on my social media, you would have seen I kept wearing this necklace. I just love how simple it is. It hangs at a really nice length. So I highly recommend all those brands, they're all selling silver, all prices kind of vary quite a lot. Um, I think Bloody Mary Metal, some of her rings start at £35 for um, selling silver. Kassan is a lot more. Um, this ring I think, ooh how much is this ring? I think it's around £200. Um, this ring is... 190 or 180 um, and this necklace is 180 something so they all are amazing and they already vary in price but it's just nice to kind of show you sometimes a variety and I love jewellery so much that I'm willing to spend more on jewellery because it's an investment and it doesn't go out of fashion I will wear these items forever and other favourites have been these items of skincare. I have um, changed up my skincare and I've been using these. So this gentle facial cleanser I've been using every evening after I use a normal face wash and this has just been helping improve my skin. It's got advanced AHAs as I've mentioned before, not really fully sure what the fancy words are but there's these acids I've heard that are really good for your skin, helps with like blackheads and or skin and reducing pores I think don't quote me on that but yeah I've been using this every evening and then after that every other evening I've been using this which is the skin renewal cream and after that I then 
um, use a moisturizer. So you must moisturize after this, I've been told. In some previous videos, loads of you said that my skin looked really nice, really glowing, which is so nice to hear. I've been having facials and I've been having skin treatments, which I've been filming and I'm gonna do like a skin journey diary with a company, You and Your Skin, which I've been going to in Norwich. And from the first facial, I saw like amazing, amazing improvements. I'll leave my blog post below about the, like the first facial before the six treatments, which I've started on. So this helps with like red marks because even when I didn't have spots, I would have red marks. These have helped them go. So my skin overall skin tone just looks a lot better, a lot more even. So it's really been improving my confidence. Another favourite has to be this beautiful bag. I hope that some of you recognise this from Instagram. I was so, so happy when it arrived. It was just even more beautiful. So falling over. It's just even more beautiful in person. I remember... um. With Bayer, you can, so say, rucksack. You can choose what colours you want. So you can have a different colour lid, you can have a different colour body. I'm just really awkward and I was like, I want different colour sides. So that runs through the back and the bottom. But then I've got these little pink tassely bits and it just looks so nice. I'd made a mock-up because she doesn't usually do um, coloured sides. I asked if I could, I did a mock-up and it's even better in person than I could imagine. This is a new um, pink leather as well because the mauve leather they had uh, unfortunately was, um, she can not get it anymore to discontinue it but I really really love this pink. I prefer it and I'm really fussy with pinks but it's a really beautiful beautiful pink. She, it was described as hot pink but I wouldn't, it's more of like an ashy baby but not too pastel. I'm, I'm not sure if that makes any sense but I love this so much. I love how you can choose whether you have the um, silver hardware or the brass hardware. I prefer silver, kind of the jewellery I wear as well. This is leather, this is handmade, they're custom made to order and these are currently in the sale as well as I mentioned in my haul, oh my gosh, look at this. I got a suede lavender inside and it's just so, so pretty. Also, the straps are adjustable, which I think is really good. So you can choose how high, how low you want to wear it. So it's got a little drawstring thing there. And then inside, I went for a purple lining and there's got a zip inside. I just think it's so, so pretty. And don't forget, I also did design a bag with them, which I will link below so you can check that out. That's also on sale. How pretty is this top? Some of you may recognise it. This is the White Pepper brand. It's also sold in places like Topshop and this is so pretty. And my friend Rihanna, she designed this print as well. I'll link down to her. She's very talented. And this is just so pretty. Unfortunately, it is sold out though. Maybe it's available in stores. I don't know. Um, but I just love how simple it is, the colour, and it's got a little zip on the back as well. This is just so adorable. Another Topshop favourite is the glow stick. I've seen so many people talk about this and Becca Rose in particular, I saw she spoke about this. I asked how she put it on and she said that she like draws it on then dabs it. I found when I did that it kind of removed my makeup. So what I do with this is I put it on my finger then I dab it then I kind of blend it in with my fingers. Um, I put it on my eyebrows, I do just put it on before I draw them on like underneath. Um, and I put it like here as well. I just, I actually just put it on my mouth. <laughs> Whoopsie, oh, I've got lipstick on it. That did not just happen. So I put it there as well. Another makeup favorite is the Essie in Fiji, which I finally got because everyone has it. So I had to get it. So it's a really nice color and I was just really drawn to wearing colors which accentuate a tan. So I'd either be wearing this one or the, um, Oh, I have it to hand. How prepared of me. In Tarte Deco, which I've worn in some videos, I was wearing this on my nails, but then it chipped and I didn't I don't like painting over chips because up close you can still tell. We love Essie, they last really, really long. Um and yeah, I wanna get more. I wanna get it's like a powdery blue colour I wanna get as well. I think that's next on my list. Back to another clove favourite. If you follow me on Instagram, you've known I've been raving about these jeans. These are from Boohoo and yep, I've definitely sat in something. It's so annoying. These were only £25, which is really good. 
more black high-waisted skinny jeans but this is the first pair I've got which just have a nice simple cut dress dressing detail at the knee and they hit my knee perfectly they are really long so if you're tall that's good for you I have to roll mine twice though because I've got little legs but I really love these because these are really skinny slightly hard to get on at first but they do kind of give and mold to your body they are super high waisted they are tight around the waist so they have like shape to them I've had jeans where the high waisted but the waist is gapy that's annoying but these are true to size they are so comfy they are really soft and I like the cut out detail and for £25 I would definitely pay more for these I really like these but I need to put them in the wash now because of sat and something Usually I will feature an app but I've not been using any new app so instead I, although there is an app for this but I haven't even used the app, maybe I should try the app. Anyway, I've been using Soundcloud a lot. I've kind of briefly gone on it before but I have been spending hours, I've got an upcoming lookbook and I wanted to find some amazing music for it. I've literally spent like five hours over two days searching for music to use in videos and I think I found some good ones but there is so much music, so many people I've discovered, people I've discovered before even hearing them on the radio which feels nice because I usually only discover music listening to the radio but to hear it before was just like yeah. Um, so I really love Soundcloud um, if you haven't checked it out I think it's really great. I think with the app as well you can listen to music on the go I don't know, I never really listen to music on the go when I'm on the go, that's my quiet time to switch off, so I personally, I don't listen to music. So 10 is music, and again, there are two songs that I've really been loving, so I'm going to include them both. I wrote the name down because I'm just crap at names, Vic Mensa, down on my luck, and I just watched the video before filming this, he kind of keeps running through the same situations but learning from his mistakes, improving on it and it's just, uh, I thought it was really clever, not what I expected from um, listening to the music but I really love it, it's really catchy, it's quite dancey, I've been into a bit more dancey kind of music recently I think it's just listening to Radio 1 whilst I've been like editing a lot of videos recently um, so yeah I really like that and the other song again is kind of dancey and that is 10 Wells Walking of Elephants <laughs> I was with Amy at Lovebox in the hotel and I was like there's a song about elephants and I can't remember who's it by or what's it called and I was searching and I couldn't find it for ages and then they started playing it more and more on the radio and then I realised who it was and it's quite like simple and catchy and I think it's been really good to listen to while I'm working I don't know just my music these favourites are quite different to my usual, I think these are just from listening to the radio a lot and I like them both and they're quite different but dancey that makes sense let me know if you like those songs below, let me know what your favourite songs are again as usual I love finding new music, I love it hope you enjoyed my favourites, please comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching hope you like my hair as well by the way, I think it looks more purple when I wear it behind my ears. I had it like this in a video before. I don't think it looks as purple. And if you wondered, I'll put it in the description below as well. This is Larish Directions in Lilac. Hi guys, welcome to my July haul. Next items are Primark. These shoes I have been after since watching many people feature them and they were only £5. I recently filmed a Primark haul and they didn't have these in both London stores I went to, they were completely sold out but good old Norwich, my local Norwich store had them 